fairly well in the league and also going well in the FAI Cup. Well, last Sunday, we went along to see them at Harold's Cross. Commentator, Stephen Alkin. It's FAI Cup time again, and just three old Premier Division clashes in the fourth round, one of them here at Harold's Cross. Shelburne, despite defeat last weekend against Shamrock Rovers, keep the side that was on duty that day. Goals have been hard to come by for the Reds, so a lot of pressure today on Paddy Joyce and Stephen Yates. Perhaps this one-off nature of cup competition will inspire them to show their best. Goals may have been hard to come by for Shelburne in recent matches, but their defence has been playing quite well, and thanks mainly to this man, Paul McDermott, who's been a tower of strength in the centre of their defence. St. Patrick's Athletic make one change from last week. John Tracy returning in midfield for Paul Masterson, who's on the bench today. Today's match offers St. Pat's with a fresh challenge following their recent run of league success. And the referee for today's game is Aidan Gallagher from Dublin. St. Pat's then in their unfamiliar green strip attacking the goal to the right but straight away Paddy Joyce dispossessing Curtis Fleming and the shot blocked there by Mick Moody which caused Paddy Joyce some pain St. Pat's then taking it away Paddy Joyce taking a knock there in the opening seconds Joyce back into the action once more. Curtis Fleming for St. Pat's looking for Paddy Dillon. Paul McDermott across to cover. And Dillon doing well to find Mark Ennis. First threat on either goal. Damien Byrne winning that strongly for Pats. Kelch to Paul Byrne. Nicely inside the challenge of Dave Mackey. And winning the free kick. A lovely afternoon for soccer in Dublin after some early morning rain and St. Pat's coming forward and the handball from Paddy Dillon yes referee Aidan Gallagher wasn't to be fooled and a good bit of refereeing too because Dillon forced that in possibly on the blind side of the referee all came from the long ball into the centre and when the ball broke Paddy Dillon definitely using his hand to put the ball in the net Paddy Joyce did well to keep that in play. Here's Brown. Nice turn, beats Tracy. The cross looking for Mackey. And Yates. And Henderson in the way. A corner kick to Shelburne. And the nearest we've had to a goal so far. Lovely bit of play by Bobby Brown. And the cross giving two attempts for Shelburne but Henderson just clearing it away. McDermott clearing for Shelburne. Damien Byrne with the header. And Dylan forward. McDermott once more. And here's Morris O'Driscoll for St. Pat's. Pass the challenge in McDermott. And here's Paddy Dillon. And this time the deflection going off a Shelburne defender. Corner kick to St. Pat's. Martin Morrison to take it away by Gary Barrett, back by Tracy. Great effort by John Tracy back in the St. Pat's team today. Corner cleared and Tracy with the long range header just over the bar. Joe Reynolds away by Mick Moody to Morrison and Dillon waiting for somebody to come and support Morrison the man who ran 40 yards for that pass 
got no chance of winning the ball and Shelburne to start again Tracy for St. Pat's to Paul Byrne just two men forward for him so forced to run at the defence and he did well Paul Byrne here's Dylan tackle from Dave Mackey one of the most popular players here at Harold's Cross Tracy out to Kelch did very well Pat Kelch and here's O'Driscoll and the deflection giving St. Pat's the lead Mark Ennis there receiving the congratulations and what a goal it all came from that great work by Pat Kelch on the left and the cross finding Morris O'Driscoll's head and his header touched into the net by Mark Ennis sharp as attack in front of the Shelburne goal O'Driscoll and Megan going for it here's Ennis an ambitious pass looking for Morrison and lots of time for Joe Reynolds Fleming and Yates tussling and here's Barrett and O'Driscoll one of the men of the match in this opening half trying to find Dylan. the shot blocked and over the bar by Paul Byrne another great chance for St. Patrick's Athletic O'Driscoll again involved in the move. Dylan couldn't get in the shot, and then Paul Byrne hitting it on the rise, but too tall for Fred Davis's bar. Ten minutes since St. Pat's got the goal, and really, so far, Shelburne haven't created very much in the way of an equaliser. But here's Stephen Yates, one of their brightest players, blocked by Damien Byrne, and Paul Byrne. Just clearing it away. So maybe now a bit of pressure from the Reds. Tom Megan once again across to take the throw in. Short to Gaffney this time. Across towards Yates's head. Away by Paul Byrne and Joyce finding Brown. Good cross. Just behind Burke though. And here's McDermott. And a chance maybe for St. Pat's to come themselves. Joe Reynolds read that situation well. Driscoll again, the master of the aerial ball. Fleming sending Ennis on the chase. Here's Moody. Looking for Dylan. Breaks for Morrison. Here's Ennis. Three men to aim at. One of them is Paul Byrne. He just couldn't get his jump though. And here's Dave Mackey. Damien Byrne with the header. Into time added on at the end of this first half. Which has produced just the one goal. The header from O'Driscoll, the deflection of Paul McDermott, which leaves the scoreline Shelburne nil, St. Patrick's Athletic one, as referee Aidan Gallagher blows his whistle at the end of a first half which was scarce on chances, but which leaves both sides with a great chance of going through.